Hello there, hope everyone is doing well. As I mentioned a few days ago, once our channel reaches 500 subscribers, I promise to make a video about WhatsApp anti band guidelines. First and foremost, I want to express my gratitude to all of you for your support in helping us reach this milestone of 500 subscribers. I am truly thankful to each and every one of you. Now, let's dive into the video without further ado. Warm up your number. Before using a new number for WhatsApp marketing, it's important to establish credibility for that number. To do this, engage in regular activity on the platform for 20 to 30 days. This means using the number for personal messaging, joining groups, and interacting with others. By doing so, you build a history of legitimate usage, reducing the chances of being flagged as spam. Time gaps between messages. When sending bulk messages, it's crucial to maintain time gaps between each message. A time gap of at least 20 seconds and no more than 30 seconds is recommended. This helps prevent triggering spam filters, as sending messages too quickly may raise suspicions. Message limits. To avoid being flagged as a spammer, it's important to limit the number of messages you send per hour. It is generally recommended to keep it within the range of 60 to 80 messages. This limit can be considered as a slot. Sticking to this guideline helps you maintain a reasonable pace of messaging without overwhelming recipients or triggering spam filters. Intervals and breaks. It's advisable to include intervals and breaks during your messaging sessions. After sending every 20 messages, take a break for 60 to 120 seconds. Additionally, after completing a messaging slot, take a longer break of 30 to 60 minutes before starting a new one. These intervals and breaks help create a more natural and human-like pattern of communication, reducing the chances of being flagged as spam. Mix family slash friend numbers. It's beneficial to include a family member's or friend's number in your messaging list. After sending messages to every 10 to 12 recipients, include a number from your personal contacts. By doing this, you increase the likelihood of receiving occasional replies from recipients, which indicates genuine engagement and reduces the risk of being marked as a spammer. Potential for number bans. Despite following the guidelines, there is still a possibility of your number getting banned due to user reports. To mitigate this risk, encourage receivers to provide feedback by replying with no if they don't want to receive such messages. This allows you to respect their preferences and avoids unnecessary reports. In fact, if someone replies negatively before reporting, it can work in your favor as evidence that you had their consent to message them. Contact WhatsApp support. If your number gets blocked, you can reach out to WhatsApp support directly from your WhatsApp messenger. By doing this, you initiate an automatic email with your device log, which can help WhatsApp investigate the issue. It's important to follow the instructions provided by WhatsApp support in order to resolve any issues effectively. It's important to note that WhatsApp's policies and guidelines may change over time, so it's advisable to stay updated with their official documentation. That's all for now. Don't forget to like the video. If you find this information useful, please share the video with others. Thank you for today, and good luck to everyone. Also, feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section.